Today, NVIDIA's GTX is officially dead. Last-minute PC hardware deals, NVIDIA's Super 2.0 release, 256 gigabytes is coming, and Ryzen 8000G desktop APUs confirm specs accidentally leak. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, it looks like NVIDIA's GTX GPUs are officially dead. That's right, if you owned an NVIDIA gaming GPU before 2018, it was guaranteed to start with GTX. I remember my first real GPU was NVIDIA's GTX 660. It wasn't the best at the time, but it played all the games I wanted and it lasted me years. But with the introduction of the 2000 series, NVIDIA changed that G to an R, thanks to their push for ray tracing. In the years since that release, it's pretty clear that ray tracing in games is here to stay, so it would almost seem inevitable. In a new leak from the Board Channels forum and later reported by Video Cards, it looks like Nvidia is done with their GTX 16 series of GPUs. According to the report, it states that starting in Q1 of next year, Nvidia will cease full-scale production of their GTX 16 series of GPUs, meaning that after this, the GPUs may no longer be supplied to AIC manufacturers. Basically, the last series of GPUs that still hold on to the GTX branding are officially over. That also means that if this is right, Nvidia's lowest in SKU is the RTX 3050, which currently retails at $230, marking a pretty wild shift in prices over the years. Luckily, AMD does offer some cheaper GPUs, and with their 8000G series releasing soon, which I'll get to later in the video, the lower end should be covered. Next up for today, I thought I'd go over just a few last minute PC hardware deals for those hoping to pick something up for themselves or someone else. And I'll have affiliate links to these in the description below. They don't cost you anything more and it helps the channel out. Starting things off, we have the Ryzen 9 7950X 3D, which is quite a bit off its original price still and offers a nice bit extra off when you combo other hardware with it. And it comes with a free game. Next is Intel's i5 13600KM which of course is their last gen product, but as you know, other than the i7, they're very close in terms of performance. So why not save with a last gen part? Next is an 18 terabyte monster hard drive that currently has an extra $70 off coupon for just 260 bucks. So definitely a great deal if you have a ton of things that need to be stored. Finally is a mouse that I use all the time. The Logitech G502 Hero is 50% off and comes with a $5 coupon. It's really a great mouse for a great price. Next up, it looks like NVIDIA's upcoming Super 2.0 cards are right around the corner. In a story from IT Home, they compiled a number of leaks to get what they claim are the announcement date and release dates of NVIDIA's new GPUs. Starting things off, the announcement is apparently coming on January 8th during NVIDIA's special address at next year's CES. And if you want to stay up to date on all those announcements and releases, make sure you subscribe to GamerMeld. Next, we have the actual release dates, and according to this, Nvidia is planning to release these from the bottom up. Starting off, according to this report, we have the 4070 Super, which releases on the 17th of January, then the 4070 Ti Super is set for release on January 24th, and finally the 4080 Super would be released on the 31st. If you've been following the channel so far, you know that these are set to be fairly minor upgrades over their non-Super counterparts, but given some of the pricing we've heard, they could be a great deal when compared to their current cards. Of course, I'd argue G GPUs are way overpriced right now anyway, but I guess every little bit counts. At the end of the day, it looks like we won't have to wait long before finding out the final prices. Next, a very impressive milestone was just reached for both Z790 and X670e platforms, and that support for up to 256 gigabytes of memory on four slot boards and 128 gigabytes on dual slot. That's right, in a couple new announcements from MSI and ASRock, the companies announced the support for certain boards, and it comes thanks to the support for 64 gigabyte DIMMs by Micron. Neither company revealed which motherboards exactly will get the support. MSI showed off 256 gigabytes working on their Pro X670P Wi-Fi motherboard, and ASRock showed it with their X670E Tai Chi and Z790 Nova Wi-Fi. Now, ASRock seems to have taken their article down, but you'll find out why that is in my next story. Of course, while so far only MSI and ASRock have made announcements, I have little doubt other manufacturers will make their announcements as well, so be on the lookout for those to see if your motherboard will be supported. 
And lastly for today, we finally have it. Confirmation for AMD's desktop Ryzen 8000G APUs, including specs. The reason I'm calling this confirmed is because they were actually found on two ASUS motherboard CPU support pages, as well as an ASRock's 256GB support announcement. Oops. The pages from ASUS were found by resident leaker Momomo underscore US, where you can see that it lists six APUs with two being pro models. Starting things off, we have the Ryzen 3 8300G, which has four cores and eight threads, but from what we've seen, it's one big Zen 4 core and three little Zen 4C cores. We'll have to see if that part is true, but it does apparently come with a base clock of 3.45 gigahertz and a 65 watt TDP, though all of these have that. Next, we have the Ryzen 5 8500G, which comes with 6 cores and 12 threads, though other leaks have suggested these are 2 big Zen 4 cores and 4 little Zen 4C cores. Here it comes with a 3.35 GHz base clock, yet the Pro model comes with 3.55. I'm not sure if that's just a typo or what. Next is the 8600G, which is supposed to come with 6 full Zen 4 cores and 12 threads, as well as a base clock of 4.35 GHz, which really makes it look like the leaks on big dot little cores are right, because the little cores can't get high clocks. And that's why the 8600G is a whopping 1000 MHz higher. Finally, we have the Ryzen 7 8700G, which is an 8 core, 16 thread CPU with a base clock of 4.2 GHz. And given they're already adding these to motherboard support pages, they're almost certainly coming soon. Everything points to next year's CES. So while that does it for today, are you pumped to finally get new desktop APUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out those PC hardware deals in the description below. And as always, have a great day.